welcome back learners so again welcome to my virtual lab and here we will be discussing your invic test so as we are discussing the biochemical tests and we have already discussed your catalyst test the procedure for the catalyst test the observation for the catalyst test so we will be discussing now your invic test so first let's discuss that why we require this test so this test is basically not one single test but is a group of test it is a group of test used in microbiology lab testing to identify an organism which is essentially a coliform group so it's a coliform group of organism which is tested by your invic test so a coliform a coliform is what a coliform is your gram negative coliform is your gram negative aerobic or anaerobic rods aerobic or your anaerobic rod anaerobic rod okay so which produce gas from lactose within 48 hours so if you add a carbohydrate source you know that those who are the lactose fermenter they will ferment the lactose to produce gas and acid so the gas will be detected within your 48 hours okay and the presence of some coliform indicates fecal contamination so if there is any fecal contamination from where the coliform has come to a particular place, a particular object, a particular place, then this particular test can be even the water. You know, the uh, potability of the water determines the presence of coliform in it. So this test can help us to determine that whether it is having some coliform or contamination, fecal contamination in your substance or in a particular water. So next we will move on to your invic. That is the full form of your INVIC. So it is INVIC. So what is I? I is your indole test. So I is your indole test. So first is your I. M. What is M? M is your methyl red test. Okay. I am. Okay. V. What is your V? V your is your Voges Proskauer test. Okay. What is C? C is your citrate test. So it is basically comprises of your four different types of tests. That is your indole test, methyl rate test, Voges Proskauer test, and your citrate test. Okay, so next we will move on. Next we will move on to the indole test. We have to discuss the test one by one. So first in this particular video we will be discussing your indole test. So your indole test. Now you know that indole. What is your indole? So indole test, the organism under consideration is grown in peptone and water broth. So but uh, before that, we will move on to your the basics of your indole test. Let's say that if you determine the ability of the microbe to degrade amino acid tryptophan, you know that there is an amino acid called amino acid tryptophan. So, if you want your microorganism, characterize your microorganism on the basis of the ability of the microbe to degrade tryptophan, we can go for your indole test. So, what is the basic principle of the test? So, if I draw, if I write down the formula, you will be able to understand that tryptophan, okay, tryptophan in presence of the enzyme tryptophanase in presence of the enzyme tryptophanase will produce your indole plus 
pyruvic acid plus ammonia so tryptophan in presence of the enzyme tryptophanase will produce indole pyruvic acid and ammonia so this is your step 1 in your principle next step 2 in your principle is that now you give a particular indicator so that is p dimethyl amino benzaldehyde amino benzaldehyde you will understand that what is that you know then with that you add indole so as you add indole in presence of the enzyme hcl alcohol okay there is a dehydration reaction so there is a dehydration reaction okay and you will get to find one product that is your quinoidal red quinoidal red see the diagram properly quinoidal red which is your violet though it says red but it's a violet compound a violet colored compound so that is your quinoidal red so that is your quinoidal red Okay, so that is a violet color compound. So you will know it says that usually you uh, when you when people say that what is your observation, you say development of cherry red color at the interface of the reagent and the broth within second after adding the COVAC reagent indicates the presence of indole. So you know that you take now I will move on to the procedure. So let's discuss the procedure so let's discuss the procedure so I am drawing the procedure over here first is that you take your tripton broth so you take two test tubes so these are the two test tubes which you have taken now what you do is that you take Triptone broth. So in each of the test tubes, you take triptone broth. So you take triptone broth for the microorganisms. Now, of course, one of the test tubes will be experimental and another test tube will be controlled. So you know the microorganism which is controlled, which is indole negative. So you know that. So what do you do? You take, you can either take a epen drop, better you take a epen drop. So this is your epen drop. Okay. So you take a epen drop and you add, you add 0.1 ml, 0.1 ml of the bacteria or the culture. So you take a pen drop and you add 0.1 ml of the culture to each of the tube. Now what you do is that now there is the addition of your COVAC reagent. COVAC reagent. So now there is an addition of your COVAX reagent. COVAX reagent. So, you know what is COVAX reagent I have talked about that is P-dimethyl amino benzaldehyde which will react with indole to give you a cherry red color ring. So, what you get is that after you add this COVAX reagent means after you add the culture of course then only you will not add COVAX reagent. You have to incubate it for 24 hours for the development of the culture and then you add COVAX reagent. So, when you add COVAX reagent in a positive test you will get a cherry red colored ring. I have not uh, shown you exact color. The color is being shown in the figure over here. So you will get a cherry red colored ring and here you will get absolutely no cherry red colored ring. So here you will get no cherry red colored ring. So you will not get any type of uh, cherry red colored ring over here. 
So this positive test is basically indicated by the presence of your phenoidal red, which is a violet colored compound, and that gives you positive test for indole. So that will give you positive test for indole, whereas the other will give you the negative test for indole. Okay, so that is your that is your indole test. So next we will move on to the methyl red test. So next we will move on to your methyl red test. So methyl red test. So methyl red test is to differentiate E. coli, Escherichia coli, and Enterobacter aerogenes. Okay, other Enterobacter, Enterobacter aerogenes. Okay, and to determine the ability of the microbe to oxidize glucose. So oxidize glucose with production and stabilization of high content acid end product. So, the end product will be acid end product. Okay. So, for this, what you do is that the principle, let us discuss the principle over here. So, in principle, you know, it is glucose plus H2O2 for Escherichia coli. Okay. What you get? You will see it will produce lactic acid acetic acid okay so these acids will be produced with that you add methyl red so that will give you co2 plus h2 and the red color so you will get a red color in product at ph 4 so that is the principle beta behind your methyl red test. Now again, if we move on to the principle of your, so this is for Escherichia coli. For the control bacterium, that is Enterobacter aerogenes, you know, it is your glucose plus water. So this will basically produce acetic acid. Now this acetic acid, is basically converted to 2,3-butane-diol plus carbon dioxide plus water, right? This will be formed and with that you add your methyl red, okay? So, what you get? First, you will get a yellow color. You get a yellow color. And that is your negative test under your pH 6. So that is about your methyl group. So again, if you the same thing which is happening over here. That is, you take a MRVP broth. So again, you take two test tubes. And in this test tube, you prepare your MRVP broth. So this is your MRVP. MRVP broth. So as you take your MRVP broth, now with the inoculation loop or with your uh, your uh, micropipet, you add 0.1 ml of your culture and then you keep it for 24 hours. Then what you do? Then you add your methyl red. So you add your methyl red. So for positive, you get your red color. For negative, yellow colors remains the same. So, there is no change of the color. 
So this is all about your 